A fenced residential house with a black gate opposite Texas Bar along Chireka, Kamoli Road, is currently cordoned off as a scene of crime. At the moment, the scene is still managed by the detectives. There are multiple cases to be ascertained. Uh, there are so many multiple of cases uh, which are uh, being studied and uh, we believe by the close of, 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 by the time we are satisfied that the scene is thoroughly analyzed, we shall come with so many other cases ranging from money laundering, illegal trade, illegal entry, illegal stay, uh, being in possession of suspected, suspected stolen property and multiple of them as we shall uh, share with them. This is home to a Chinese and Ugandan national for over 10 years. The place is tightly guarded with dogs and has CCTV cameras. None of the neighbors, however, knew the number of Chinese that were residing in this place until police burst the secretive bubble. And indeed, we got a cocktail of so many fraudulent suspected transactions that were being done, ranging from suspected stolen property. We were able also to find out that there were the Chinese there inside were keeping uh, six totals. And of course, it's, it's against the law, according to the Wildlife Authority Act. Uh, we got when there were some other transactions of, of export, and yet, the, we of course, let alone we verified and established that uh, these Chinese did not have any work permit. We found out that of the 37 Chinese whom, who were in, in the premise, uh, 12 of them had expired visas. And uh, these Chinese had started coming in Uganda from October uh, 2019, and the latest case was uh, in February. Now, the scene was managed by our detectives. They got so many things that were criminal in nature. All they needed to do was to verify whether there is evidence to support any suspected crime. And uh, until yesterday, when... Uh, Part of our findings were subjected to the director of public prostitution and some cases were really ascertained that there were crimes committed here and ultimately they were charged in court, taken to Buganda Road Court. Of course uh, others were, actually they were all remanded for some offences which even some of them pleaded guilty. At the moment the scene is still managed by the detectives. There are multiple of cases to be ascertained. Uh, there are so many multiple cases uh, which are uh, being studied and uh, we believe by the close of, 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 by the time we are satisfied that the scene is thoroughly analyzed, we shall come with so many other cases ranging from money laundering, illegal trade, illegal entry, illegal stay, uh, being in possession of suspected, suspected stolen property and multiple of them as we shall uh, share with the public. Police from the Criminal Intelligence Investigations Department discovered motherboards for cell phones and for computers from which the Chinese would remove chips before re-exporting them to their country. You see, on these tables you are seeing here, uh, by the time we stormed into this building upon getting intelligence, we found all these phones where live on internet, they were all connected to internet and they were all open to WeChat. WeChat is a Chinese communication channel, I think like you see WhatsApp in Uganda and whatever. So uh, on this WeChat, they were doing their own transactions. You find what, like a 10 phones having a WeChat account of one person but having different photos, okay? Somebody tries to change identity and they would con and suspecting people both in China and maybe here as experts are trying to extract information. But what we sampled, we would find money transactions. They get money, whatever money they get, they report the admin at the computer. That's why they had marked all these tables. We found these tables marked from 1 to 25 and each table had a computer and a laptop where, they, where every transaction they make here involving money, 
they enter in the laptop for easy accountability and for giving commission to these people who are doing it, those transactions. So there are many financial, these funds apart from other crimes which we shall identify, but they are basically for committing financial related crimes. Yesterday, we charged these people uh, with one of the offenses which is called, it was called accessing with the intent to commit or to facilitate further commi uh, commission of further crimes. So these people accessed our lines, our SIM cards, they just had them on WeChat, which is a Chinese app, and they are either using for themselves to commit crimes or they are facilitating other criminals in China to commit those crimes using which arts created in Uganda, which cannot be traced in their country. And uh, we have uh, uh, all these phones you are seeing here, they have SIM cards in them. 1,666 of the SIM cards in these phones are Airtel. These Airtel lines are registered in the names of Ugandans. How they register them, it is a question we are handling with UCC. Then few of them are having MTN, but even MTN, I think they are just running away from it because we recovered over 223 MTN SIM cards, which have been recently removed from lines, but they are used SIM cards. You see? So that means that they have been doing a lot of, of, of havoc here, but we are seeing it is facilitated by some negligence somewhere, because how someone can access all those lines, and some of them are in names of Ugandans, it is a question where we appeal to Airtel, where we appeal to MTN to strengthen accessibility to such lines, because some of them are accessed for purposes of commission of crimes. The place is equipped with weighing machines for metals and surrounded with cameras. The business maybe has been uh, masterminded by the landlord of here who is a Chinese Ugandan but at the same time he keeps in bringing others so it is a collection center. Our fear is in Uganda there is no way you can get a ready market for all these motherboards. Yesterday we charged these people uh, with one of the offenses, which is Chinese, we are manufacturing almost a disassembling factory here. That's why we charged them for, uh, for carrying on business without a trading license. The Commission suspects were also in possession so of six statuses that we are deemed to be illegally kept. It is such a serious offense to have any wild, protected wildlife species without a license, as it attracts uh, 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 the, the, the maximum sentence of life imprisonment in case you are found guilty. The 37 Chinese the racket that was burst by police system. recently were seemingly also involved in fishing activities. So which means they have even been processing fish foodstuffs for export or for any market, whether local or international. But we have the documents, which are in Chinese, we shall examine them. Police Assembling says most the of the boats, suspects' activities people, were secretive they are and we are not socializing but these ones we are beyond doing their enclosure. Here, uh, without any lawful permission. Any SIM cards which have been recently removed from lines, but they are used SIM cards. You see, these people are under concealment. They don't want to move out for happenings, but they do all their social uh, evenings here. And no wonder they had already six ladies with them, and whatever fun they wanted, it was always self-contained within their apartment. The suspects were also in possession of Redmi phones, believed to have been smuggled into the country. These phones, including iPhones were reportedly being used to siphon money from unsuspecting fellow Chinese using WeChat, a social network platform created by Chinese. They have SIM cards in them. 1,666 of the SIM cards in these phones are Airtel. These Airtel lines are registered in the names of Ugandans. How they register them, it is a question we are handling with UCC. When you look at the transactions here, the URL officials who are here, they are not known to be legitimate transactions in there. Yeah. So we shall verify from them and do statistics. Records of their stay in Uganda as per their visas is also suspect. The 37 Chinese were charged at Buganda Road Court this weekend of offenses related to carrying out illegal businesses. I'm Navka Farida, 
and Idris Lukwago reporting in Chileka.